His name conjures up memories of great nights with amazing music, and his label, Knee Deep in Sound, is in the playlists of thousands of DJs around the world. We sat down with the world-renowned house music artist, Hot Since 82, ahead of his daytime DJ set at Soho Gardens for a quick catch-up. Hi, this is Hot Since 82, and we're here at Soho Gardens in Dubai, and you're listening to Dance 97.8 FM. Hi, it's Gemma here and James. We are sitting down with DJ Hot Since 82. We are at Soho Beach and you are headlining tonight. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. I was actually here yesterday as well, playing in the nighttime set, which was great fun. That's right. You were at Soho Garden last night. Yes, that's right. Are these togs, are these swimmers? Togs, I'm Australian. Are these swimmers oh, that you're... Yeah, <laughs> haven't you? I'm Australian too. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So are you in your swimmers? Are you going to duck in after the set? No, no, just uh, try not to overheat. It's super hot, isn't it, as well? So it was either wear jeans or uh, trunks, togs or swim shorts, whatever you want to call it. Trying not to overheat, but you've been hot since 82. Explain that. I made a big mistake there, didn't I? I should have shaved a few years off. should have been hot since 92. Okay. Everybody knows how old I am now, don't they? Okay, well, that answers my question. I was going to say, how did you come up with that? There we go. Oh. God, well, to be honest, I used to uh, produce music like in the uh, early 2000s and I took quite some time off and then uh, I was just fooling around with some names, I didn't want to uh, put some music out as my old name which was just Daily Paddy which is my real name and I took some time off and I started uh, producing music again and just wanted a fresh outlet but it, was, it wasn't a serious thing at all, I was just fooling around with, with this name and I just plucked this name out of thin air. And I wasn't, I didn't have any high expectations. I actually wasn't, weren't even going to release the music. Uh, my, fen, my friends kind of strong-armed me into uh, sending this one particular record out, which I did, and then uh, the rest is history, I guess. So yeah, I, I was just fooling around. And well, that, that's, yeah, that's how the biggest hits happen, isn't it? You're just yeah. playing around and then, boof, so it's stuck. You have to keep it now. You're a big deal. It was a, it was a quite, kind of like a natural thing, you know. I, I'm kind of proud of that because I didn't have a master plan or some kind of weird strategic goal. It just uh, just happened. Yeah, so look at me. The only thing on my mind, and uh, forgive me for this, but... I know. <laughs> Speedos. <laughs> no, really, just wanted to know because, honestly, the way uh, things are these days in 2018, we're always looking for more. So I just wanted to ask you, obviously, performing here tonight at Soho yeah. Beach, and uh, we're super excited for that. You're about to come on very, very soon. Um, first of all, how stoked are you for that? Do you like performing here in the UAE? Uh, yeah, I always say this when, when I come here, even when I'm traveling around the world as well, and some people mention Dubai or I mention Dubai, I think uh, obviously it's grown massively over the last uh, few years, especially with the, with the dance music as well. You know, you have some great venues opening, a lot of international DJs come out here. But for me personally, I really like it here. Obviously the weather's great, it's nice to ta uh, take some time off. I always uh, bring my fiance as well. Food's good, the clubs are good, nightlife's good, the malls are good, obviously, if I'm bringing my missus. Uh, and it's just really, really uh, safe. It's a really safe environment to be in. There's no crime, no drugs, and, you know, uh, I'm very fortunate to travel all around the world uh, to some of the safest cities and safest countries, but also I go to some very dangerous places as well. And uh, it's just refreshing to come to a place where it's just safe, you know, you don't have to lock your doors, your cars, you leave your car running going to the supermarket and you know your car's still going to be there and uh, yeah, there's some crazy things happening around the world and it's just refreshing to, to be in a nice environment. Right, I mean, it's it's really no worries, so. Yeah, yeah. and like I say, I've been to some really crazy places, <laughs> and some very, very dark things, uh, you know, good and bad, uh, but I just have a good time here, like I say, nightlife's good and... Uh, yeah, that's all, the, all there is to it, really. It's just a nice place to be. Absolutely. Now, uh, can you, I, I like to use this word, tease. Can you tease anything that you've got kind of, you know, up your sleeve, uh, you know, for, for people that are patiently waiting yeah. for the next thing out of Hot Since 82? I'm like a magician, you know, I'm pulling <laughs> tricks out. No, I'm, I'm extremely busy. Uh, I run a label called Need Deep in Sound for those, you know, listening and watching that, that don't know, and that's, that's going extremely well. We, Post a lot of uh, label showcases around the world, uh, and that's really growing and growing. Uh, we put a lot of energy into the parties. We always said if, if it was worth doing label showcases, you have to do them right. So the venues uh, are always really magnificent. Sound systems are always good. DJs are always good, and we put a lot of love into the decor as well. So that's always exciting, uh, and we're going full you know full steam ahead with that. 
music music wise I've just taken uh, three months off uh, I had a really crazy year last year. I, I did my first uh, residency in Ibiza at Pasha every Friday called Labyrinth. We're continuing doing that again this season. Uh, so just finalising, uh, you know, finishing the lineups for that. That ask. takes a lot of time up. Yeah, when's the wedding gonna be fit, squeezed oh, in? Yeah, well, that's the, oh God, that's, that's the next question, isn't it? I don't know, 2020, actually, we're gonna get married in, I think we're gonna get married in Dubai. We're, we're actually checking a few locations out the next couple of days. There you that's go. A different story. Back to the show business. Don't stress me out too much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so just taking the best part of three months off and more or less just finished an album. And when I say an album, it's not really an album, it's more... Yeah, I didn't put an album tag onto it. I don't want to stress myself and push myself too much because I really do have a lot going on at the minute. Right. But I did finish like more 10 or 11 records. Uh, so I'm just finishing the touches to that. And I didn't really release much music last year. I think I released like one remix and one record. So people are starting to, to really ask me and really bug me now, Why, where's all the music? But I'm just finishing it all now. But what, what I did this time around is I've released a lot of music with vocalists, but the hardest part of getting a record done is when you're working with singers and writers. Like, producers are lazy, but getting a really good singer and a really good writer on board, really making that record snap is the hardest thing ever. And more or less all the records have someone featuring, and it's just so long getting these people to get in the studio and get it done. Because you're working with people uh, from all around the world, which is great. Uh, but you're working on different time zones, and, and, and people have a different workflow. Uh, so I'm nearly, 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 nearly finished it. So I'm very excited about that as well. We are too. So, all right. So, like you said, people are antsy, and uh, I guess if you don't want to put a label on it as an album, kind of more like a like an EP type of thing. Yeah, just I guess just an extended long player, really. I mean, maybe I'll narrow the 11 tracks down away. I'm, I'm not quite sure, uh, and I could break them up and release them all on all different labels, but. I'm going to release it on my label as well because it gives me, let's say I finish it in June, on my label I can put it out in July. Exactly. So I have that flexibility and it, it, it's, le it's stress free as well. Uh, and the label's doing well as well, so I think uh, hopefully releasing that uh, long player on my label will, will, will push the label uh, ahead as well. Of course, man. Best of luck. That label is knee deep in sound. Hot Since 82 is who we just spoke to. Amazing to be here with you, man. Uh, well, you want to keep going? We can keep going. These things take forever. No, no, we don't want to take much of your time. Really, we uh, we want to see you up on that stage. It's going to be amazing. Anything else you want to say just before we uh, wrap it up? Uh, uh, I just mentioned earlier, like obviously I was playing at Soul Gardens last night, but I kind of excel really. I really enjoy playing in the daytime as well because there's. There's, there's less energy, but more energy, if you know what I mean. So you get to play a, a lot more records that you can't play at peak time. It's a lot more groove-based, I guess, in, in the daytime. So I guess what you're going to hear over the next couple of hours is, is more laid back, but more groove-orientated. So. That's amazing. We can't wait for it. This is James and Gemma with you from Dance FM. Hot since 82.